Police officer rescued a woman from a burning home yesterday morning, and the city has released the body camera footage showing that rescue. It's amazing. As Two on Your Side's Kelly Dudzik shows us, today the city also honored that officer and other first responders for their heroic actions. Body camera video captured a dramatic rescue Sunday morning in Buffalo after a home on Sydney Street caught fire with a family inside. Let him go, let him go, let him go. And this body camera footage shows someone rescuing one of the children as police and firefighters got there before the woman police rescued made her way out onto that front ledge. The woman hurt her leg and was taken to the hospital. She's expected to make a full recovery. Monday, the city honored the first responders. Uh, you can never really plan for something like that. Uh, you just got to do basically the best you can. There was another citizen there that was helping me and assisting her down. And basically when she kind of fell down, we were able to catch her to her safety. Seeing this, it's very powerful. In the moment, there's a lot of things that we have to analyze and decisions have to get made about how we're going to operate. So to be able to look back on this now and see the, the bravery that they show going in to make sure the house is clear, our actions, you know, it, it, it gives a good feeling that to see that, but it's also very powerful to me to see like, whoa, there was a lot more going on than in the moment I was able to see because of all the decision making processes that we all had to go through. I, I was not aware of what they did, which was amazing until I, I saw the videos earlier today. Fire investigators say the fire started in a hallway and moved into the attic. They're trying to figure out the cause. The nearby Evening Star Church of God in Christ uses the home to help people in need. Six people live there. The Red Cross is helping them. And for more information on how you can help the family, just go to WGRZ.com. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.